Like any look, the beginning to this one is a good primer. I'm using this one by Too Faced. Then I'll be using two different palettes. This one is by Lorac, and I'm gonna take the lightest color in the palette to highlight my inner corners. I'm going to take the second lightest color in the top right corner and apply that all over the lid for a shimmery and fun daytime look. I'll be using Urban Decay's Pulp Fiction palette for the rest of the look. I'm going to start by taking Tyranny and applying that all over the outer V and the rest of my lid just really to carve out the crease and really add some definition to this look. And then I will just blend using windshield wiper motions. And here I'm just going in to redefine anything that might have gotten a little bit muddied or a little too muted for my liking. I'm just going to use a little bit of this primer just on my nose. That's really the only area that I feel like I really need primer. And then I'm going in with the Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation by CoverGirl. I chose this one because I just think it looks great in pictures and it also doesn't have SPF. So for flash, that is really important because it can cause a white cast, the SPF. Then I am going to conceal the underneath of my eyes. It looks like I applied an awful lot of this, and I actually did, but I just really wanted to make sure that my under eyes looked perfect, and the key to this is just blending really well, so I'm gonna take one brush and blend with it, and then I'm also going to go back in with the same brush that I used for my foundation because this concealer is very brightening and very light so kind of going back in with that foundation brush and blending it to match the color of the rest of my face is a really important step in my opinion. And then it's time for my brows. I do have a full brow routine that I'm going to have listed down below so I don't bore you with this. I kind of sped this part up but I just use this Lorac brow pencil. It's my favorite. I think it just works really, really well. And I comb out my brows with a spoolie. I like a thicker brow look. So you'll see all that in the brow routine and in these next few moments. I decided to do my classic winged liner today because it is my graduation day. I wanted to feel like my normal self, but I did do a less dramatic version of a wing, so it's not super, super pronounced, but it's definitely there. I wanted to feel like myself, like I said, so there is that. This is my favorite eyeliner for a wing. And big, bold lashes are my favorite, so I'm using Benefits They're Real first to separate and kind of define everything and then I'm going to take this voluminous butterfly mascara which is kind of a new obsession of mine. It gives you really really big voluminous lashes so I'm going to use that over top. And Bahama Mama by The Balm looks amazing in photos, so I'm going to just do a light contour, just kind of carve out my cheekbones and my temple, and also go ahead and contour my nose, which I do all the time, especially when I know that I'm going to be photographed. I had a really hard time deciding which blush to use, so I just went with this one by e.l.f. It's a very classic, gorgeous color. It's called Rich Rose. And I like to set my whole face before applying my bottom lash mascara to avoid smudging, so I'm gonna go back in with their Real after that. This is a moisturizing lip color from Catrice. I'm gonna use that first, kind of as my balm, and then I'm gonna go in with my favorite Kate Moss lipstick. It's just kind of like a pinky nude, and I just think it's perfect for spring and summertime. 
And that's it for the face. It's all complete. And then I'm just going to straighten my hair. I did nothing too special. And I went in with a shimmering body lotion to make sure that my legs looked really great since I was going to be wearing a dress. And a fun trick is to apply your perfume to the backs of your knees to make it last all day. I wanted to be comfortable so I went with this A-line dress, just a simple little clutch and some nude shoes and accessories and this is just a really nice style for when you want to feel like yourself and don't want to have to worry about sucking in your gut or anything like that and the belt really accentuates my waist. It is a little out of my comfort zone since it's not black but I loved it either way. And no, it was not this wrinkly on my graduation day. This is actually filmed the day after, so it looked a lot better in the actual photos and things like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and click in this frame here to watch my graduation day vlog and celebrate the whole day with me. Thank you guys so much for all of your congrats and good luck.